the morning. Okay, so today is officially two weeks out. And I was gonna show you guys a really cool breakfast I've been, well, I think it's cool. A cool breakfast I've been eating a lot lately, but I don't have any egg whites. So I'll show you the other pieces of it and we're gonna do it without eggs. But. Oh, super exciting because today is a refeed day. So I'll talk about like refeeds versus cheat meals today and uh, no, I never have any cheat meals. I haven't had a cheat, like a cheat meal besides after show, I guess you could say, in 30 weeks. So, refeeds only, calculated and much more, um, much easier to control and see how the food is reacting. So today, lots of sweet potatoes. And apparently I need to order from the rest of my bison. <laughs> We're gonna make it, it's okay. So, I was gonna cook my breakfast without that, but I realized with just that much bison, I definitely won't get enough protein in for this one. So we're just gonna run to the grocery store real quick. Um, this is my whole list. Reduced fat feta, egg whites, edamame, because I'll show you guys, I've been on like this edamame kick lately. It's so good. <laughs> and uh, lettuce, spinach, oatmeal, eggs, and fiber gummies. That's it. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna run to the grocery store real quick. and. I'm just gonna show you some of the realities. I'm making room for Sam in my car right now. Mm. My bad. I swear I refill these, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so this is like a poverty macro grocery haul, but I've been on very low carb and with the refeed, I, I can handle really big refeeds and to figure that out, you just have to like trial and error, take the time to do that and see how your body reacts. But today I'm increasing carbs by 400%. Remember to take your receipt. Thank you. Okay, so I've got feta and this is reduced fat feta. Okay, this has the best cheese macros. I don't use a lot of cheese in my life, but when I do, it's feta or goat cheese because if this has, for like one serving, if you're an avid macro counter, you know one serving of cheese is like 28 grams. One serving is three grams of fat. And it's like a creamy cheese and it's just, it's comforting. Um, we got blueberries, because I'm gonna make, I may make some pancakes today. I think I may make like vegan pancakes. And then edamame. So if you've watched my videos before, you know I don't count anything green into my carbs for the day, but edamame does have a high uh, protein content. So I do count the protein from the edamame, but I still don't count the carbs from it. Um, I got fiber gummies, sugar-free, because they give, they bring me joy. And uh, I get enough fiber, but like, this is my excuse to eat two gummies a day. So that, I got fat-free whip because I make jello, sugar-free jello. And then, so I really cut down on eating the cauliflower rice because I feel like I didn't eat it for a few days and my digestion got like better than ever. And then I ate it yesterday and I was like, not as good digestion today. So I was like, hmm, maybe it's a trigger food. I don't know, I'm gonna keep experimenting with that. So I kind of changed that to lettuce. Um, which is lower carb anyway. I get leafy romaine because it's just, yeah. Um, and then spinach. So, oh, and of course, egg whites, the cheap ones. So in this first meal, what I'm gonna do is saute some spinach. So I, I put a lot of spinach in here. The pan's already heating up. Pretty good. So if you cook with spinach, you know all this is gonna cook down to like barely anything. Put that in there. A little bit of water. And I'm going to let that steam. Maybe. I don't know where my lid is, so. Mm. I'm gonna move this stuff. 
sorry. Okay, and while that's steaming, I'm just gonna get out the rest of what I need. The feta's already out there, but this is like my staple breakfast lately. It's super high in protein, and then depending on how much sweet potato you put in there, obviously lower in carb or higher in carb. Today I'm gonna make it higher in carb, so it's gonna be really good. But this is Dallas Prep Kitchen, and my sweet potatoes, they're so good. And then the rest of my bison. Obviously, I like the bison. It's always the first one I finish. So, what, probably like one and a half ounces, maybe. But that works because then the rest of the protein will be with the egg whites. Almost done. Wow, this looks so good. It's so nutritious. Ooh. And then when it's about right here, I don't know, almost all the way cooked, I just turn down the heat and I'm gonna put some feta on here. Oh, there's the cool. Oh. Mm, fresh feta. So I love it because it's in like these big blocks. So each bite is different and you get like this big block of cheese and it's just satisfying. Mm. And I'm gonna put 21 grams. So it's actually three fourths of a serving in here. Super cheesy. There we go. Okay. <laughs> More cheese. But yeah, so this is 21 grams of reduced fat feta, two ounces of sweet potato, two servings of egg whites, and then spinach. And all I had left of bison was 1.3 ounces. So, pretty good. So I was just walking around and I'm just making Brandon a shake, but like, I just realized my butt is so small. Like, there's, <laughs> it's like narrow, like this way. Where did, I'm sad. <laughs> okay, so we're going to the gym now. Um, I definitely limit this, but on a refeed day, I'm gonna have a piece of swirl bread. Smells like freaking cake to me. So, cinnamon, raisin. And you have to watch this kind of stuff because in the past, like, if you followed me for a while, I love raisin bread. I use it a lot on my off season. And uh, the carbs used to be, I believe, 13 or 15 per slice. And now they are 20. So, trying to get me. about that comfort. I literally put on tennis shoes just for my workout. Okay. So today, this is a new flavor to me. I'm using blue raspberry. And with the extra carb plus this, so it has pump product and a stimulant, obviously caffeine. Um, it's gonna be a sick pump today. Just getting a pre-pump. <laughs> Just a little pre-pump. This is gross. <laughs> I don't look like that. That's why I got tattoos. Don't worry, man. You'll get there. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Yeah. Hey. It's the siege. 
Once again, here we go Know the name, know the flow Turn me up a little more I'm setting traps, I'm alone You know you whack, I'm a maniac Boy, you know I'm black to the bone Pick a place, pick a date I go go cool, pick a low Thought you was good, huh? Take you out back, drag you through the woods, huh? Thought I was weak, huh? You ain't see the work I put in all week, huh? Give me that, where the city at? Nitty gritty, this ain't gonna be pretty, Jack Not afraid, get up out the way Y'all used to hate, look at what you made When it all goes down I'ma run this town Fire in my soul, got my eyes on the ground I can't help myself lately, can't turn myself down I'm in love with you, baby, but I let you down I can't die in this town, I won't die in this town Yo, oh my god, are you carrying pipe? Oh my god, I follow you on Instagram, I've been following you for years yeah, Can yeah. we get a pic? Oh. oh my god, thank you <laughs> I'm dead. I'm gonna show you guys what I eat after this. I don't know. I feel like I'm getting like a second wind on this prep, but like I'm also feeling like crap. I'm definitely leaner than I've ever been, hence the video. But we're gonna make it. I'm gonna go home and eat some nutritious food. And oh my god. Quack. Chicken. Okay. So I'll just show you what we make instead of explaining it. Okay, cool. And then I am also going to do, um, on my Instagram a few days ago I posted that I have perfected Starbucks egg white bites and the macros are six protein and one fat, I believe, zero carb. So I'll show you guys those. They're super good. It's like fire pico. So veggies. <laughs> okay, so cauliflower rice, jasmine rice, and pico. And then I'm gonna add some chicken. I'm gonna add four ounces of chicken into here. I'm actually gonna break it up. Okay, so in here, nice little refeed day post-workout meal. I have 50 grams of cauliflower rice because I am cutting down on it because but like, I already cooked this, so I'm still gonna eat it. Um, just less of it. Uh, 50 grams of jasmine rice, and then like five scoops of pico, homemade, and then four ounces of chicken. And then on the side, I think I've showed you all this before, I'm gonna put 30 grams of fat-free um, Greek yogurt. And then for my fats, I made some guac a few days ago, so like 30 grams of guac. Yum. So for the egg white bites, I'm just, I got my little cupcake pan. I'm kind of like multitasking here. But I made a pepper, onion, and cilantro, like, you know, mix here. And then, so I'm making six of them. So a serving is 46, so 46 times six equals 276 grams of egg whites. So I'm just gonna pour this in here. Let's not go over, please. Two. Okay, 276 grams of egg whites. And then in six of them, I'm going to put 28 grams, so one serving of feta. So, basically, I'm just gonna put this in here and then blend it up to like separate the feta. Sounds gross, but this is how you. So the feta like makes the egg whites kind of like less cakey and stick together and it just tastes really good. Tastes a lot closer to the actual Starbucks egg white bites. So obviously like in off season I'd put like turkey bacon or something like that inside here, but I'm not gonna do that today. 
because we've got to save those macros. But I'm gonna take my little electric blender and mix this up and then pour it evenly into six of these and I'll show you. Okay, so it doesn't break up the feta perfectly, but as you scoop it out, you can kind of see and get it even into the cupcake pan. So lightly greasing six of these and then pouring it into here. Feta is kind of at the bottom, but sometimes it breaks up better than others. If you get like a really dry feta, which usually the reduced fat is, but I think I put the big chunks in here, it usually works a little bit better. Oh, big chunks, like I said. Oh, and you can also use it with Parmesan. Parmesan may break up a little bit better, but I like the taste of feta better and it melts better. So if you want to be more exact with this, I say like make the serving size different and if you eat, like make four, and if you eat all four, you know exactly how much feta you're getting in each one. But I'm just gonna break it up evenly because I'll probably eat all six of these in one day. So it still works. Very macro friendly. Then after that, I'm just gonna take some of this and put it in each one. Then once you have that, I preheated the oven to 375 and I'm gonna put these in here for 15 minutes. And I'll show you guys what they look like. Yes. All right. Don't they look so good? Yeah, pretty firm. Pretty good. Not super hard, but they don't break through when you touch them. Six protein, one fat, zero carb. So I'm still shaking from my pre-workout, but I'll show you. That's hot. I'll cut it. So good. See? Oh my god. Kind of creamy. Egg white bite. And they don't cost like 10 bucks. So, what is today? Today is August 14th. It's a Wednesday and North Americans bikini goes and finishes on a Wednesday. So it's nice, it's a one day show. It's uh, August 28th in Pittsburgh. Um, we're leaving the 25th, bringing Sam. So we're gonna get all the cool shots just like in Vegas and so these last two weeks, I've been kind of just coasting. We're, we're at a level where we're like I'm lean enough, maybe come in like half a pound lighter or something for North Americans just to like be as tight as possible and drier than I've ever been. Um, but I've been just kind of coasting. My cardio was lower last week and then we bumped it up again this week. And last week I wasn't doing any hit and now I added back in hit. So we should actually see like a little bit of a weight drop soon. Today is a refeed and it's just been like lower macros and then consistent refeed every Wednesday because it kind of mocks how the show will be and like the carb up for Wednesday the 28th. So there's um, this refeed and then one next week and then we'll probably do like maybe a couple days of depletion but we won't have to do what we did for Vegas because I will be leaner. But I just feel like I don't know, I was so done after USA's, like now I'm just kind of, like I want it, I want it so bad and I feel really good about this show and I feel really like ready or I'm gonna be ready and I'm gonna look the best I ever have but I also feel like I'm kind of like running on auto autopilot right now. Um, this weekend we're going out with some friends and that'll be a nice like release and you know, I miss music, I miss like dancing, I miss just, you know, being social, being with friends so I'm really ready for this 
to be over but at the same time i'm not letting up at all like probably just going just as hard as i ever have i'm training till failure every day and just making sure i get enough sleep and yeah so i appreciate y'all's like continued support and continuing to watch these videos um i'm just gonna keep pumping out content and i hope i keep touching you guys your lives and keep supporting me with all the sponsorships and just we're almost there so thank you for watching thumbs up comment subscribe all that good stuff and i will see you guys on the next one yeah.